Good evening. Please stand for the national anthem.
You can be seated. Welcome to this momentous occasion, graduates, and thank you to the guests who have joined us this evening. I am Provost Eric Heiser, and I am delighted to congratulate the class of 2021 on behalf of the faculty at Central Ohio Technical College. December brings with it many reasons to celebrate. Some of you may celebrate a holiday, some of you may celebrate the end of the year and the beginning of the next. But one thing that brings us all together tonight is the achievement of the graduates sitting in front of me. Tonight, we celebrate them. Graduates, you have much to be proud of. I encourage you to share the pride that you feel today and extend it to others. You entered this building as students and you'll leave as alumni, confident and ready for your next step and that is a tremendous achievement. Congratulations to each and every one of you. It is now my pleasure to welcome the president of Central Ohio Technical College, Dr. John M. Berry. Thank you, Dr. Heiser. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna try that one more time. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good. I appreciate that. This is just like an orientation when you first got here and everybody kept trying to get you to engage and you're like, oh, I'm petrified of this. Though. We are so excited to be able to actually celebrate this momentous occasion of your achievements tonight. So thank you all very much. The faculty candidates and guests of Central Ohio Technical College are assembled. I now proclaim the autumn 2021 commencement ceremony to be in session. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the members of the Central Ohio Technical College Board of Trustees who are able to be with us here this evening. Trustees are appointed by the Governor of the State of Ohio and by local school boards. As I call your name, please remain standing for recognition. Robert A. Montagny's Chair. Paul M. Thompson, Vice Chair. Bruce E. Hawkins. J. Park Shea III and Marion M. Sutton. If we could give them a round of applause. We also have members of the President's Cabinet on stage. As I call your name, please remain standing for recognition as well. Brian Bomer, Superintendent of Facilities and Support Services. Suzanne Brassou, Director of Marketing and Public Relations. Dr. Eric Heiser, Provost. Kim Mano, Director of Advancement and Dr. Jacqueline Perrell, Vice President and Chief of Staff. Thank you all for your service. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Robert Montagnes, Chair of the Central Ohio Technical College Board of Trustees to offer comments on behalf of the board. Rob. Good evening. Thank you, Dr. Berry. Certainly my pleasure to be here this evening. Graduates, congratulations. And on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I am pleased to offer sincere congratulations to all of you. And it's really nice to do it in person and not virtually, I can tell you that. It's a tremendous milestone, huge accomplishment for you, your family, and all of your supporters. Years of dedication, perseverance, sacrifice have brought you to this moment, and you should be incredibly proud. Although the coronavirus has greatly disrupted our society, you all have made the decision to continue on and complete your degree amid a global pandemic. I have no doubt there was added stress, uncertainty, but despite these challenges, maybe even because of them, you are stronger individuals today. And on off script here, I will tell you, any of you who are entering the healthcare field, certainly I have tremendous respect for all of you, but those of you who chose to pursue your degrees, do your clinical rotations in hospitals, healthcare facilities like Licking Memorial Health Systems, your commitment, your courage, and your compassion didn't go unnoticed during this unprecedented time. So you should be especially proud of your accomplishment this evening. While the past year and a half has been extremely difficult, sometimes isolating, I hope you take the time this evening to celebrate 
the accomplishments that you have achieved. We know that you have many choices when it comes to education, and we thank you for choosing COTC. I hope you continue to remain connected with this college as you are now alumni. Once again, congratulations on this achievement. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Montagnese. And you know, Rob actually said a couple things that I want to reiterate to each and every one of you. This has been a very difficult time for all of us. Uh, the past two years have been tremendous in terms of the obstacles that have been presented, and your ability to overcome those have not gone unnoticed. This is an interesting point for all of us because we have not had a face-to-face -face commencement ceremony in two years. You're the first graduating class we've been able to reassemble with, and we couldn't be more proud of what you've been able to accomplish. You also are in our 50th year of service. This is 50 years for COTC this year alone. So thank you all for representing who you are and what you do, and we're very, very proud that you're soon going to be alumni representing us in the world order. Having said that, I am going to be able to now introduce you to your commencement speaker. And she has many, many ties to each and every one of you. Uh, I've alluded to this is our 50th year, and we've been celebrating that in an array of different activities and events. We are, one of the things that we are engaged in is recognizing 50 notable alumni. Individuals like you who have gone through the, your process, these individuals have uh, also graduated from COTC, and have made their mark in the world significantly. Your commencement speaker tonight is one of those people. Uh, she has been recognized as one of our 50 notable alums. She happens to be a friend and a colleague of mine as well, and somebody I have watched grow through the Central Iowa Technical College process. We were joking a little while ago, when we still had a daycare on campus, she was a kid in our daycare center at the age of eight, I think that, so she's been with COTC for a while. So ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to now introduce our commencement speaker, Ms. Brianna Stigger. Brianna graduated from COTC in 2010 with an associate's degree in business management technology. She went on to earn a bachelor's of business administration and a master's degree in business psychology from Franklin University. She is now a doctoral student at The Ohio State University, pursuing a degree in higher education and student affairs administration. Brianna serves as the program manager of inclusive excellence at The Ohio State's College of Engineering, as well as the president of the Licking County NAACP. Brianna, welcome back to COTC, and please come to the podium. Thank you so much, everyone. I am just so grateful to be here this evening. Um, I, I would like to say good evening to all of the graduates and congratulations on this exciting journey. Um, I would also like to say thank you to the family and friends. Can we give a round of applause for our family and friends as well? We know that you all have brought us through to this point as well, so we would like to um, just uh, appreciate you for all of the, the hard work and dedication that you've put into this. Um, so congratulations, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do with your future endeavors. So I'd first like to take the opportunity to thank God for the opportunity to be here with you today. Um, it's been a tumultuous year. We've gone through COVID, the racial reckoning, but it's great to be in person um, with you all at this event today. So I would first, once again, like to thank God for this opportunity. I would also like to take a moment to thank my ancestors for providing the wisdom and guidance um, they've imparted in me. I would like to thank my mother, hi mom, <laughs> and my brother and my grandmother for just really instilling the values of hard work and determination in me um, at such a young age. I would most importantly like to thank all of you, my COTC family, my Newark campus family, my friends, my colleagues, who have really made my career such an impactful one. I want to really focus on the moment tonight and the moment, the message, and the mission is to be brave. This is a monumentous moment because I remember being in your very seats over 4,000 days ago, ready to embark upon this new exciting journey. I would have never imagined that all of my dreams would come true, but they did and they have because of my time here at COTC. My degree opened endless doors for me, doors of opportunities and places, took me places that I've never been able to go. 
COTC provided the foundation for my success. I stand here before you a CEO, a scholar, an activist, and a, passion, a community leader with a passion for serving others and inspiring people to live the life of their dreams. The meaningful experiences that I've had here at COTC have positively impacted my life in such a drastic way. I started off as a student, just like you. I worked in the Gateway Admissions Office where I met a wonderful group of folks that you see sitting here. Between the faculty and staff that really worked with me to support me across my educational journey to the wonderful students like you. COTC was such an impactful experience on my educational journey because once again, tying back to the message, I learned how to be brave. I learned how to be brave here at COTC because I had many firsts. My first time singing karaoke to Rihanna's umbrella in the Warner Center. My first time losing said umbrella in the pond just outside during a, winter during a rainstorm. Most importantly and most memorably, my first plane ride traveling abroad to Italy thanks to the generosity of the Reese family. I remember it like it was yesterday. We were descending in the beautiful hills of Tuscany, and I remember thinking, this is it. This is it. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> we're going down. The plane is crashing. And a small voice said, Brie, be brave. There's beauty on the other side. And I didn't really think about that or understand but I knew that once I got to the ground, greatness was waiting for me. I want to encourage you that turbulent flights often lead to beautiful destinations. Since then, I've traveled to seven countries, 25 states, and hundreds of cities across the globe. When you're thinking about being brave, the first person that I think of is a family friend that I met here during my time at COTC. I had the pleasure of working with Veronica Ryan in the Gateway Admissions Office as a student and an employee. While working in the Gateway Admissions Office, I met Veronica's beautiful daughter, Emily Ball. When I think of COTC, I also think of family. And family laughs together, family cries together, and family goes through hard times together. Veronica and Emily are the epitome of strength, resilience, and bravery. For years, I watched Veronica lead the Gateway Records Admissions Office, where she selflessly, graciously, and gracefully served hundreds of students in the records department while going through her own battle with her daughter who was fighting ovarian cancer. I frequently visited Emily in the hospital during those chemo treatments, which were oftentimes painful, traumatic, and honestly exhausting. But no matter what, Emily kept a smile on her face. We would laugh, we would sing, we would draw. I would attempt to paint with her. Emily was a beautiful artist who knew how to capture the masterpiece and the beauty of life. Anytime it was difficult, Emily never gave up. She taught me how to be a warrior, how to work hard, and she fought hard until the very end. Emily most importantly taught me to never let my circumstances steal my joy. She taught me how to be brave and walk boldly into the future, despite of what the circumstances may look like. She taught me how to be courageous and walk courageously into the unknown. Emily taught me to hold on to hope, and that is what she did until she earned her wings on November 21st. Emily, Emily was filled with brilliance, beauty, and wisdom beyond her years. She taught me how to be a brave person and how to transfer pain into purpose. Emily always celebrated each moment. She was so full of life, and she embraced life. She embraced the complexities of life, and she never let fear hold her back from enjoying her time. Although she only spent 21 years here on this earth, she always chose to embrace the uncertainty head on and head first. She taught me that even in our darkest hours, we can still be the light. I challenge you in this next season to choose faith over fear. Don't allow the world's confusion, chaos, distractions 
to take you away from your abundant destiny. Everything you need is with, already within you. You are worthy and deserving of living an abundant and prosperous life. Emily was an artist who painted the most beautiful paint portraits that I've ever seen. She knew how to captivate the presence of life, and she taught me that there's beauty in everything. I want you to remember that there's beauty all around you. You just have to find that. Emily taught me to be a survivor, not a victim. She taught me to be a conqueror and to never be defeated. Most importantly, she taught me how to be courageous and not afraid. Remember, you are powerful beyond measure, and everything that you need for the journey ahead already lies within you. You are strong, you are courageous, and you are dedicated enough to win this next season of your life. Graduates, tomorrow is a blank canvas, and you are Picasso. In honor of Emily, make your masterpiece beautiful. Be bold, be bright, be brave. Thank you, and God bless. Thank you, Brianna. Thank you for sharing your experiences. You and all of the graduates seated in front of me are an inspiration to the faculty and staff at Central Ohio Technical College, your friends, your family, and all future students and graduates of the college. Before the diplomas are handed out, I want to just briefly recognize a few caring and dedicated people who have supported you along the way of this journey. The faculty play a crucial role in bringing the graduates to this important moment in time. Will all of the COTC faculty members please stand for recognition? Thank you, please be seated. Will all of the college staff members please stand for recognition as well? Thank you, please be seated. And last but not least, and probably the most important to each and every one of you here, will the family and friends of our graduates please stand and let us recognize you. Thank you, please be seated. Dr. Heiser, I think it's now time for the main event. Thank you, Dr. Berry. It's my pleasure this evening to recognize those students graduating with distinction. Students graduating with honors have earned an overall grade point average of 3.5 or higher out of a possible 4.0. The names of students who have achieved this level of performance are identified in the commencement program. Also, Central Ohio Technical College honor graduates can be recognized by the gold tassels on their caps. Will all of the honor graduates please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Members of Phi Theta Kappa, the International Honor Society of two-year colleges, maintained at least a 3.25 grade point average and are involved in numerous service projects on campus and in the community. Phi Theta Kappa students are wearing gold stoles. Will all of our Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society graduates please stand and be recognized? We also have graduates that are members of Alpha Delta Nu, the Nursing Honor Society, which recognizes academic excellence in the students in the study of the Associate Degree of Nursing. Alpha Delta Nu students are wearing apricot cords. Will all of our Alpha Delta Nu students please stand and be recognized?
Graduates that began taking courses at Central Ohio Technical College while in high school are identified by their green and white cords. Will all of our high school options and College Credit Plus students please stand and be recognized? <laughs> Lastly, it is my privilege to recognize students who are graduating as veterans or members of the United States military. Military veterans and active duty personnel are identified by red, white, and blue cords. We honor and appreciate you for serving our country. Please stand and be recognized. All right, so I'm gonna warn you, this next list is very long, so prepare yourselves accordingly. As I call your degree or certificate, this is your last test, Hopefully you pass it. Please rise. Audience members, if you would please hold your applause until all of the candidates have been recognized. So I will call your uh, degree. You can stand up and then sit down. We'll do the next group and then at the end, we will honor everyone. And there is a huge list. Will the candidate for the degree of the Associate of Applied Business in Accounting Technology please stand? Okay. Will the candidate for the degree of Associate of Applied Business in Business Management Technology please stand? Will the candidates for the degree of the Associate of Applied Business in Information Technology please stand? Will the candidates for the degree of the Associate of Applied Science in Criminal Justice Technology please stand? Will the candidate for the degree of Associate of Applied Science in Culinary Science Technology please stand? Will the candidates for the degree of Associate of Applied Science in Digital Media Design please stand? Will the candidates for the degree of Associate of Applied Science in Engineering Technology please stand? Will the candidates for the degree of the Associate of Applied Science in Fire Science Technology please stand? Will the candidate for the degree of the Associate of Applied Science in Human Services please stand? Will the candidates for the degree of Associate of Applied Science in Law Enforcement Technology please stand? Will the candidate for the degree of Associate of Applied Science in Manufacturing Engineering Technology please stand? Will the candidate for the degree of Associate of Applied Science in Nursing Technology please stand? Will the candidates for the degree of Associate of Applied Science in Surgical Technology please stand? Will the candidates for the degree of Associate of Arts please stand? Will the candidates for the Human Resources One Year Certificate please stand? Will the candidates for the Management One Year Certificate please stand? Will the candidates for the Office Administration One Year Certificate please stand? Will the candidate for the Basic Baking and Pastry Skills Certificate, Basic Culinary Skills Certificate, and Culinary Science One Year Certificate, please stand. Will the candidates for Digital Media Technology Certificate, please stand. Will the candidates for Emergency Medical Technician Basic Certificate, please stand. Will the, ca will the candidates for the Electrocardiograph Technician Certificate, please stand. Will the candidate for the Mental Health Certificate please stand? Will the candidates for the Phlebotomy Certificates please stand? Will the candidates for the Surgical Technology One Year Certificate please stand? Will all of the candidates please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, the candidates for recognition of commencement at Central Ohio Technical College.
You may be seated. Dr. Barry, I now have the distinct honor to present and recommend on behalf of the faculty of Central Ohio Technical College these candidates who have completed all of the requirements for the Associate of Applied Business, Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, one-year certificate, and COTC certificates. Thank you, Dr. Heiser. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Central Ohio Technical College Board of Trustees and the State of Ohio, I confer upon you the appropriate degrees and certificates with all the rights, privileges, and duties pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Let's give them one heck of a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, in recognition of the degrees and the certificates just conferred, the diplomas will now be handed out. Emily Bergita, doctor, with honors. Mary Adu Jimphy. Jennifer L. Gillespie. Jessica Diane Lilly. Kennedy Irvin. Ashley Rose Morrison, with honors. <laughs> Tina L. Pickering, with honors. Tyler Jacob Harriman, with honors. <laughs> Mohammed Chroma. Cammie Chevelle Finley, with honors. Ruth Ann Law, with honors. Brianna Rochelle Smith.
Brooke Allison Copley, with honors. Cody Rostifer. Jeffrey Spencer Norman. Seth Phipps McCune. Melissa Dawn Campbell, with honors. Mercedes Sedan Foster. Christina Marie Moore. Traley Marie Stortz. Antonio Lamar Travis. Justin James Nestor. Kirsten Rosetta Conley. Alyssa Lene Eaton. Jacqueline Louise Jones. Homa Devi Katiwoda. Chido Muchenwa, with honors. Vera Tima Owusu. Jessica N. Petty. Shrestika Fuyel. Bandana Pickerel. Rebecca Chiami Chaya Raya.
Alyssa Elizabeth Sturm. Hira Tetal. Kylie Shea Underwood. Regan Mallory Will. Cheyenne Elise Deal. Lori Lynn Wilson Merritt, with honors. Madeline Ruth Metzger, with honors. Sydney Ann Scott. Madison Marie Elise Smith. Emma Love Clark. Whitcomb Toby Johnstone. Jessica Marie Ross. Brittany Jade Arnold. Destiny Nicole Cotty. Alexandria Nicolette Hoyer. Alexis Martin. McKenna N. Ryan. Monique Lachey Nicole Weatherwax. Will all of the graduates please rise? In keeping with academic tradition, you may now transfer your tassel from right to left. This is a visible symbol that you are now a graduate of Central Ohio Technical College.
Please be seated. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we only have a few more things to do before we release you tonight. But one of those is for me to remind you that this is our 50th anniversary. And because of that, you're going to actually experience something as our graduates and as our friends and family members that we've never done before. As part of our 50th anniversary, we actually had our very own ice cream flavor created for us by our friends and colleagues at Velvet Ice Cream. So as you leave today's ceremony, as you leave and exit the North Classroom uh, doors, you will actually get free samples. <laughs> so everyone enjoy that. One of the things that I do is I, I closed the ceremony by speaking directly to the graduates. And I typically do this through sharing a story that has some sort of meaning. So if you do me a favor, give me a couple minutes and just pay attention to what I share with you now. This story is called The Hand. Thanksgiving Day was near, so think about this as just past uh, around the Thanksgiving time. The first grade teacher gave her class a fun assignment to draw a picture of something for which they were thankful. Most of the class might be considered to be somewhat economically challenged, but still many would celebrate the holidays with turkey and other traditional goodies of the season. These, the teacher thought, would be the subjects of most of the students' art, and they were. But Douglas made a different kind of picture. Douglas was a different kind of child. He was the teacher's true child of turmoil. He might have been considered frail and unsure of himself. As other children played at recess, Douglas would likely stand close by the teacher's side. One could only guess at sometimes the pain and confusion behind Douglas's eyes. Yes, his picture was different. When asked to draw a picture of something for which he was thankful, he drew a hand. Nothing else, just an empty hand. His abstract image created and captured the imagination of his peers. Whose hand could it be? One child guessed perhaps it was the hand of a farmer because farmers raise turkeys. Another suggested a police officer because the police protect and care for people. Still others guessed that it might be the hand of a higher power or a higher being. And so the discussion went until the teacher had almost forgot about the young artist himself. When the children had gone on to other assignments, she passed at Douglas's desk, bent down and asked him what was this hand representing? The little boy looked away and muttered, it's you, it's my teacher. She recalled the time she had taken his hand and walked with him here and there, as she had other students. How often had she said, take my hand, Douglas, we'll go outside, or let me show you how to hold your pencil, or let's go and look at this together. Douglas was thankful for his teacher's hand. Brushing aside a tear, she went back to work. The story speaks of more than just thankfulness. It says something about teachers teaching, as your faculty have instructed each and every one of you. It talks about parents parenting, as your parents, friends, and loved ones have done. About friends showing friendship, and how much it means to the Douglases of the world. They might not always say thanks, but they remember the hands that reach out. Ladies and gentlemen, we've all been Douglas at one point in our lives. And many of you may have said, you know, when I started this academic journey, I was Douglas until the day it finished for me. And there's nothing wrong with that. During your academic journey, many of you have felt the potential to be Douglas. And your faculty and staff at COTC may have played a role of the concerned teacher or guide. What I say to you now is that, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for you, each and every one of you to play that part to indeed be the hand of the teacher. You have demonstrated your capacity to be successful by virtue of your graduation. Now show us that you can and will be significant. Significant in the lives of others, significant in the lives of your communities. Be the hand of the teacher to all those who you connect with within your homes, your work, and your communities. Be the hand that helps and the hand that holds and know that COTC will always have open hands for you here. I thank you, I congratulate you, and I respect you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.
This concludes the 2021 commencement of Central Ohio Technical College. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please remain seated until the platform party and the faculty have recessed and the graduates had, have exited the gymnasium and then everybody gets free ice cream. Thank you all very much and I now direct the recessional to begin. Thank you.